This is a new government, and it's a new kind of government, a radical reforming government where it needs to be, and a source of reassurance and stability at a time of great uncertainty in our country too. David has spoken about many of the challenges we all face. The economy is still struggling to get to its feet. The public finances in a mess. The, our troops engaged in a difficult and lasting conflict that requires resolution. Our society still scarred by too much unfairness and inequality. Our politics not yet recovered from the hammer blows of recent months. And at a time of such enormous difficulties, our country needed a strong and stable government. It needed an ambitious government, determined to work relentlessly for a better future. And that is what we have come together in this coalition to provide. This is a government that will last. Not because of a list of policies, important though they are, not because it will be easy, there will be bumps and scrapes along the way. We are different parties and we have different ideas. This is a government that will last despite those differences because we are united by a common purpose for the job we want to do together in the next five years. Our ambition is simple and yet profound. Our ambition is to put real power and opportunity into the hands of people, families and communities to change their lives and our country for the better. And for me, that's what liberalism is all about. Ensuring that everybody has the chance, no matter who they are, where they're from, to be the person they want to be, to live the life they want to live. Now, you can call it fairness, you can call it responsibility, you can call it liberalism. Whatever words you use, the change it will make to your life is the same. You will have the opportunities you crave. Fairer taxes, better schools, a fair green economy with growth that lasts, clean, open, plural politics that I hope once again you can put your faith in to deliver the help and the change you need. Now, I want this to be a bold reforming government that puts fairness back into Britain, a government that restores our faith in what a healthy, strong society can achieve. A government that takes power away from politicians, as David said, and gives it back to you. A government which hands back your liberties and your privacy. Building a nation where parents, pupils and patients can shape our schools and hospitals. Where fine words on the environment are finally translated into real action. Where social mobility becomes a reality for all. Where the great British traditions of tolerance and fairness are restored. 